folks, welcome to this episode of The Average Joe Florida. Today we are at the Antique Mall in Lakeland, Florida. Now this is a typical antique mall with a bunch of little vendors set up inside of a bigger building. We know a bunch of these vendors sell a lot of Disney stuff and some surplus stuff from the parks and stuff like that. So we're going to go on in, take a walk around and uh, see what they've got at the Antique Mall in Lakeland, Florida. Okay. So the first thing you notice is that this store is actually massive. Many, many different uh, areas set up with things. It's not just Disney, it's all kinds of stuff. Vintage stuff. Oh, it's a strange thing to collect. Coins. Bubblegum <laughs> machine. The giant Marilyn Monroe. These are probably reproductions, these signs, yeah. Marilyn. It's a Corvette. We had an 87 vet, that same color. It's probably similar to here. It could be an 84 or 85, but it looks like 80. Definitely 80s. Snow globes. We'll get to the back where the stuff in the parks is in a little bit. We'll go all the way in the back. Some more statuettes. There's Tink. I like Tink. Yeah, a lot of cool Tinks in there. I've mm -hmm. seen that style before of Tink. Oh, the pumpkin we have one. really cool. Yeah, that, so we have other characters too. We have Donald Duck in that same style, that same artist though. I recognize the statuettes. Bob's Big Boy, Jack from Jack in the Box. This is C-3PO carrying case for the Star Wars figures of the 70s and 80s. Lots of toys and collectibles over here. All kinds of stuff. Lots of plush too. Newer stuff, older stuff. I don't know, Eric, Nomadic Fanatic, you gotta check this place out next time you're in Central Florida. You want to see plush or Mickey stuff. Some anatomical dolls. Medical school stuff. Yep. Vintage posters. Those are really cool. Some Halloween things. All kinds of cool stuff here. More anatomical stuff. Scary dolls. That's the biggest light-up moose I've ever seen. He's huge, but he would look great on our front lawn. What a Christmas display he would be. $12.95, he came from a Disney resort. Oh, was he the moose that used to be outside of Wilderness Lodge? He's huge, but he's awesome. Here's some of the Disney furniture. Vacation Club chair. Let me show you where it came from. Resorts. This is a Moose Christmas display. Again, Wilderness Lodge. Oh, and this is from the Caribbean Beach Resort. Parts of the Caribbean theme room prop. The table. Let me show you where it came from. This is as a bookshelf for a keg. This is the door is broken off, unfortunately. Saratoga Springs Leather Ottoman. Oh, there's an Animal Kingdom Lodge luggage cart. What do we got over here? Saved, sold. There's a hanging light. Looks like they're brand new. From Port Orleans as an example of it. $35. It's really reasonably priced. A lot of stuff is reasonably priced. Star Wars Launch Bay. Used to hold statues. These display cases. $85. And these are fixtures from stores. And this is a Disney Vacation Club desk and dresser from Saratoga Springs. They have a few of those. And these definitely like these are Animal Kingdom Lodge. Yeah. Christmas trees, Wilderness Lodge, Christmas Garland, and a Christmas tree prop. Don't know where it came from, but it's a Christmas tree. No chairs. Not much Disney stuff back here now, but I know the other day they had a lot. And they get stuff in constantly. It comes in and goes out constantly. Cruise line. Some artwork back there. Looks like it's from uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge. And this little store in here has all kinds of Coca-Cola merchandise. You name it Coke, they seem to have it. And a little bit of Pepsi too. A lot of vintage collectibles. And it's over here as well. Coca-Cola trucks and coolers and nice glasses. Wow. Full bottles of vintage soda. Wow. There's a giant mouse. A 
Where are you from? This mouse was originally from the Storyland Amusement Park in Marietta, Georgia. Opened in 1956 and closed in the late 70s. $4.99. That's a giant mouse. And there's a Chinese parade dragon head. Wow, from like Chinatown. Where? Includes head and cloth body. $3.99. Wow. Very cool. All kinds of little stuff over here too. Knickknacks and stuff. We have a service award there for someone who sold between 100 and 49,000 revenue in the operating facility. A section of snow globes. Those are from the JC Pennies. We had a bunch of those. They have the helmets from the movie The Wolf of Wall Street, string used. Okay, so I found the shop that has more Disney Universal props. You can see Christmas decorations, Halloween Horror Nights props, Disney t shirt prop signs. These things are priced pretty heavily. <laughs> Halloween Horror Nights props. That's a recent one. Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters from Disney Springs before they closed it down down there. These are the balls you used to shoot out of your little car, $25 each. Some popcorn buckets, Christmas decorations, $30 for a chair, $35 for an Animal Kingdom chair, Toy Story Mania prop, wood curtain, there's all kinds of smaller things. Here's all individual Christmas decorations from holiday services. Halloween 2019. And these are from Old Key West Christmas ornaments. These are from Animal Kingdom Lodge. The uh, park, I'm sorry, Animal Kingdom Park. These were used on the displays, these weren't for sale, and it's worth in Slodge. All the decorations they've used. That's a giant Christmas ball, and that's a chair from the Disney Cruise Line. This is a very merry Christmas party. More giant Christmas ball. Some baskets, props. There's a cast member coat. That's a big coat, and it must be for cold nights. Chairs from Trader Sam's. Coronado Springs Resort chairs, $65. Boardwalk Christmas decorations, United Kingdom Christmas decorations, Disney Springs. Beer taps from Trader Sam's. And a 50 ring display, prop display, that's so cool. From the stores, snowmen. More props and costuming. Oh, these are cool. Fantasia and tin from Peter Pan. <clears throat> There's hats, display hats. The chair of the palm tree on it. Disney Cruise Line chairs. You have a million dreams, remember that? It's just the one, I think. More decorations from that time period. Gingerbread house or lamp. More props. This is all costuming. Different Disney costumes. Minnie Mouse chair. That's, we saw the Mickey Mouse chairs earlier in the other booths. Luggage uh, butlers. That's a big lamp. That's a crazy looking Christmas tree. Oh, that's from the New York City store display. Fifth Avenue. I've probably seen it. Don't remember it. All kinds of costumes. These are $10 each, all these costume jackets. These are actual costuming. Nice jackets. All kinds of stuff over here. 
Oh, and what do we found? Ohanas. Oh. Anybody know what's served in this? <laughs> That's the Ohana an easy one. bread. Yep, bread Mohanas. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna get the recipe for the bread, and we got one of those. Yep. And we found a little bit more. More costumes, shirts, mm -hmm. other stuff, props, and different things. Hard hat from the building of Wild Water Sports. There's the Pluto popcorn bucket back there. And a bubble gum machine, two fifty nine. All right, I think that we're gonna wrap it up here today. And we're going to head on back. So uh, thanks for joining us. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. We'll find other places to go to. They didn't have much here. But I know there's others out there. So uh, take care. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.